guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you my flawless base makeup routine with tips and tricks. My skin definitely has a lot of hyperpigmentation, pores and textures and smile lines and whatnot. So this is what I do whenever I want that beautiful, extremely flawless finish to my skin. As you can see, the makeup is looking super flawless and seamless looking. If you wanna know how I achieve this beautiful, flawless base makeup on my hyperpigmented and acne skin with lots and lots of tips and tricks and the right technique to achieve this kind of a flawless finish then please do continue watching to begin with i am starting with a clean and cleansed face so i have used my derma vibe hydra cleanser like usual to get rid of any dirt and impurities and oil away from the skin without tripping off the moisture and the ph level of my own skin then i'm gonna use the drugstore company rose water and a facial razor to get rid of all the peach fuzz on my face this is very important if you want that very flawless kind of a uh, finish to your base makeup also if you have really fresh acne prone skin then avoid using razor as it can aggravate your acne furthermore uh, since i have one or two pimples here on the cheeks i'm just uh, using the razor to get rid of all the peach fuzz except those areas so this is going to create a smooth surface while exfoliating my skin as well so here you can see how much of peach fuzz has come out of my skin again i'm using the same rose water spray spraying it all over the face using a cotton pad i'm just removing all of the um, excessive water as well as the peach fuzz that might have been deposited on the skin while I was using the razor. Now I'm gonna uh, moisturize my skin. I'm using the Nutriderm Dry Skin Conditions Moisturizer. This is such a good one for the winters. It takes care of my skin to avoid all the dryness during the winter and moisturizes my skin. I'm using the Quench Mamasika Under Eye Cream here to prep my under eyes before my base makeup and under eye cream will really moisturize and hydrate your um, under eye and eyelids and your concealer on top of this would sit so beautifully so if you want that really nice creaseless flawless finish to your under eyes make sure you apply an eye cream over there now before applying and prepping my lips with lip balm i'm using a little bit of a tint this one is from face shop and for the actual lip balm i'm using the laneige lip sleeping mask in a lemon variant this is a very very good rich hydrating lip balm for your lips uh, even if you have sahara desert dry lips this would take care of it and make it more supple and soft and prep your lips for lipstick application which is super important so here is my skin all prepped up for makeup so i'm gonna let all of this skincare sink into my skin for about five minutes and then i would proceed with my makeup so first i'm gonna use this illuminating uh, primer from swiss beauty this is in a golden shade so i'm just taking a little bit of that and applying it all over my face and massaging it since it is winter time my skin is feeling kind of dry i wanted to add a bit of glow underneath my base you can skip this if you have um, very very oily skin or if you're using during the summers now for priming my skin i'm using my favorite maybelline fit me matte and poreless primer this is such a beautiful affordable primer it just fills in all the pores and fine lines and gives your face that evened out smooth um, canvas so that your makeup sits beautifully on top of this and also it helps to make it last longer on your skin here is another tip for you all if you have smile lines i'm taking a little bit of an eye primer which is clear doesn't have any color and just taking a tiny dot of it and just tapping it gently on top of my smile lines before my foundation so this will fill in all the smile line crease and help your smile line to not crease throughout the day then I'm going to use a bit of um, setting spray. This one is from LA Girl. Uh, so I'm just going to spray it on top of my primer. So what this will do is it will make your base makeup to stay even more longer without uh, getting oily or fade away throughout the day. Then as you can see, I do have a lot of hyperpigmentation and acne scars on my face to take care of and 
conceal properly so the first step for that would be color correcting it so an orange color corrector is a must if you have pigmentation i'm using the pack rusty orange color corrector this is from their um take cover concealer range so i'm applying wherever i want that uh, hyperpigmentation to be counteracted and then I'm gonna take my damp beauty blender and blend everything out basically I'm just creating a tint of orange instead of a stark orange color corrector on my face so this will make sure that your base doesn't go cakey uh, so make sure you blend each layer as you go for that flawless finish for foundation I'm using this Sephora glow perfection foundation in the shade praline this is such a beautiful, lightweight, uh, medium to buildable kind of a foundation. I got this recently and fell in love and it also adds that beautiful sheen to the skin without going greasy or oily. So I'm using my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush and taking a little bit of that foundation on the back of my hand and working it into the brush and then starting to apply that from the center of my face and then moving outwards in gentle dabbing motion. Always make sure that you blend your foundation or base products in gentle dabbing motion without rubbing or pulling on your skin. This is what is going to create that beautiful seamless flawless finish and help your foundation to blend beautifully and seamlessly on top of your skin. Then I took a little bit extra of that foundation and only concentrating that foundation wherever I want that extra bit of coverage such as the uh, cheek area where I have most of my pores and acne marks and things like that and also a little bit around my mouth and again making sure to dab it properly and blend it into the skin. Once that is done, I like to go over with a damp beauty blender just to make sure that there are no harsh lines anywhere and that my foundation is looking extremely flawless and seamless while removing any excessive foundation away from my skin. A damp beauty blender is just gonna make sure that your uh, base makeup becomes extra more smooth and just remove any excessive product basically, like I said. Now I'm gonna do a bit of concealing and um, highlighting. For that, I'm using this beautiful and underrated concealer from Forever 52. This is their uh, full coverage concealer and this is the shade 005, which is a couple of shades lighter than my own complexion. So it is perfect to highlight and conceal. So I'm just applying that underneath my eyes on top of my eyelids to carve out my eyebrows on the center of my forehead the bridge of the nose the cupid's bow the chin and also underneath the hollows of my cheeks Then I'm taking this uh, beautiful concealer brush from PAC. This is in the number 215. PAC makes some amazing concealer brushes which fits the nooks and corners of your face beautifully. This is one of my favorites. So I'm just using the concealer brush again in gentle dabbing motion. Always make sure that you use gentle dabbing motion to blend your foundation and concealer that is what is going to give you that seamless flawless finish like i said million times in this video already so i'm just going ahead and blending uh, the rest of the areas on my face and then finally i would do my under eye and on top of my eyelids because this way i would get maximum coverage out of my concealer on the under eyes where i require the most amount of coverage to hide my dark circles once I'm happy with the blending with my brush, again, I'm going to take my damp beauty blender and just go over on the areas wherever I apply the concealer and just make sure that everything is blended and transitioned into each other from the foundation and concealer seamlessly once again. I'm going to do a bit of uh, cream contouring for that. I'm choosing the Pack Take Cover Concealer in the shade Hot Cocoa, which is a very deep chocolatey shade of concealer color. So I'm just applying that to the hollows of my cheeks, on the perimeters of my forehead, my jawline, under my chin, on the sides of the nose to make my nose look more sharper and cutting it a little bit uh, right above the tip and also around the mouth area to make my thin lips look more plumper. To blend that, I'm using a very tiny little buffing brush which fits these areas of my face perfectly. So it is important that you choose uh, brush sizes and brush types 
that fits that particular area and fits the kind of product that you're using so this is the one i use for blending in my cream contour again i'm blending everything in gentle dabbing motion and in upward strokes here because your contour has to be pulled up and give you that sculpted effect and also a cream contour gives such a beautiful seamless finish to your skin for that beautifully contoured effect then i'm switching over to a smaller blending brush and using that to blend out the nose contour as well as the contour around my mouth once again i'm going to take my damp beauty blender and just go over on top of the areas wherever i did my cream contouring just to make sure that everything is seamless and that the extra product is taken away on the sponge. Now before setting my face with some powder, I'm using the same LA Girl Pro Matte Setting Spray. You can use the dewy one if you have a drier skin type. Because I have an oily skin type, I'm using a matte one. I'm letting that dry and then I'm going to go with my powder baking for which I'm using the K-Beauty Loose Setting Powder in the shade Latte. Before setting and baking my under eyes, I'm taking my concealer brush and just removing any creases on the under eyes and dunk my beauty blender into the pot of the loose powder and removing any excessive loose powder and looking up and just pressing it down gently to fill in any gaps and creases underneath my eyes. This way you'll get a beautiful seamless finish on your under eyes and also baking is such a good technique uh, to create that blurry filter like effect on the skin if you like that kind of a finish and also whatever is left on the sponge I'm just applying and tapping it gently on the inner cheek area where I have uh, really large pores and also around the mouth and on top of my smile lines where I crease a lot. I'm gonna let it bake for a while and finish off the eye makeup and then I'm gonna brush off all of the excessive loose powder away using a fluffy powder brush. For the rest of the face, I'm gonna use a smoothing matte compact powder. This one is from Milani. Uh, this is their Conceal and Perfect Compact Powder in the shade Medium. This is supposed to be their darkest uh, shade but this works on my complexion so I'm just using that to set the rest of the face as well and to give an again flawless and even finish to my skin. For bronzer, I'm using this beautiful bronzer from Rimmel. This is their Lasting Radiance Bronzer in the shade Espresso. I'm using a big fluffy bronzer brush and just basically going over on top of the areas wherever I did my cream contouring. This will further intensify your contour and make your entire face look really chiseled and bronzed up which looks beautiful on Indian complexions. Now for blusher, as you can see, I do have a lot of texture going on on my cheeks. So I would 100% make sure that I avoid these kind of shimmery blushes and go in with uh, such kind of matte blushes because this way, those textures on the cheeks would not be emphasized further. So the blush that I'm using today is from Sugar. This is their Contour Defose Mini Blusher in the shade Mauve Marble, which is such a pretty matte blush for dusky complexion. So I'm just applying that um, on the apples of my cheeks. If you have texture, make sure you avoid shimmery blushes. They will uh, definitely emphasize your pores and texture furthermore so choose a matte one then for highlight i'm using this gorgeous highlighter from the balm this is the betty luminizer and the place that i would apply the highlighter is uh, in a c shape near the temple area and not on the inner cheek region where i have uh, like i said most of my texture and pores so i'm just taking a little bit of that golden finely milled highlighter and just applying that to my temples on the tops of my cheeks um, to the bridge of my nose my cupid's bow my chin and also to highlight the inner corners of my eyes and my brow bone then finally what i would do is i take my uh, powder brush and just swirl it over my cheeks just to make sure that the contour blush and highlight everything is blended seamlessly we are almost at the end of this video. Now, finally, to set my entire makeup in place, I take my pack micro finish setting spray, which is such a beautiful setting spray for all skin types, in my opinion, and just give my face a quick little spray. This way, all the powderiness that is going on on my face would be toned down, and this adds a beautiful sheen to my skin, which I absolutely love, especially during the winters. 
and also again this is going to make sure that your base makeup is extra more long lasting so yeah this is the final finished uh, flawless base makeup routine that i do every time whenever i want that even doubt super porcelain like um, skin and poreless and textureless finish on my skin here you can see the before and after for yourself and this is how I look with my extreme flawless base makeup routine. So you guys, that was my finished flawless base makeup routine. I hope you got your tips and tricks from this video to get your base makeup to a flawless finish. As you saw in the beginning, my skin definitely had a lot more hyperpigmentation, texture and pores and whatnot visible. After the base routine, everything is seamlessly evened out. This is how I do my base makeup every time I want my base to look extremely flawless. All the products that I use in today's video will be listed in the description box. I really hope that you guys found this video useful, helpful and enjoyed watching it. If you did, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up, comment and do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Make sure to hit the bell icon to get notified each time I upload a new video on my channel. Also follow me on my Instagram, I'll put the link in the description box. This is it, take care of yourselves and I shall see you guys soon in my next one. Bye!